dive into the depths of history as we unravel the mysteries of Iron Age rituals centered around animal sacrifices at the Casas del Turunuelo site in Spain. This archaeologically rich site has offered up a treasure trove of over 6,700 bones, allowing scientists to piece together a stunning narrative of ritualistic practices from a time long past. Among the multitude of bones, 52 slaughtered animals were identified, including cattle, pigs, and even a dog. These were not merely casualties of everyday life, but deliberate sacrifices, part of a grand ritual that played a significant role in Iron Age Europe. The intentional selection of adult animals, particularly horses, provides intriguing insights into the patterns and protocols of these rituals, which until now were not well documented in written sources. Interestingly, the site was repeatedly used for these sacrificial rituals over several years, suggesting a sustained and evolving tradition. These rituals were not static, but adapted and varied, perhaps reflecting the shifting needs and beliefs of the people. One constant, however, was the presence of fire. Burned plant and animal remains suggest a central role for fire in these rituals, pointing towards its symbolic importance. A unique feature of this site is the high abundance of sacrificed horses. This raises intriguing questions about the cultural and religious significance of horses in this society, and why they were chosen so often for these sacrificial rites. This fascinating discovery provides a rare glimpse into the intricate rituals of animal sacrifice in Iron Age Europe. Scene script. Challenge your preconceived notions about gender roles in prehistoric times as we delve into new findings that reveal prehistoric women as active hunters. Let's start by debunking a widely held misconception. Hunting was not exclusively a man's job during prehistoric times. Recent studies show that women were not just gatherers, but also active hunters and their anatomy might have even made them better suited for the task. Fossil remains reveal that the physiology of prehistoric women was well equipped for endurance activities required in hunting. Estrogen and adiponectin, hormones present in higher quantities in female bodies, played a significant role in modulating glucose and fat. This hormonal advantage could have enhanced their athletic performance, making them efficient hunters. But it's not just about the hormones, the anatomical structure of women also played a part. Wider hip structures allowed women to rotate their hips and take longer strides. These longer steps could have made them more efficient runners, a critical attribute for any hunter. Now, if you're wondering whether there's any direct evidence of women hunters, there is. Analysis of early human fossils revealed that both men and women had similar traumatic injuries. These injuries suggest that both genders participated in ambush style hunting, a dangerous yet effective hunting method. Adding more weight to this theory is the recent discovery in Peru. Archaeologists uncovered the remains of early women hunters buried with their hunting weapons. This finding is a significant indicator that women were not just involved in hunting, but were recognized as hunters within their communities. These discoveries are reshaping our understanding of gender roles in prehistoric times, painting a picture of women as active hunters. This is not just a story of survival, but also a testament to the resilience versatility and strength of prehistoric women and it serves as a reminder that our past may have been more balanced and less divided along gender lines than we previously thought journey back to the hittite empire as we explore how this ancient civilization harnessed the power of multiculturalism for political stability in the heart of modern turkey lie the ruins of hattusa the ancient capital of the hittite empire here Archaeologists have unearthed a treasure trove of evidence that tells us a great deal about the Hittites' innovative approach to governance. It seems the Hittite civil service was not just a bureaucratic machine, but a key player in fostering multiculturalism within the empire. Excavations have revealed departments dedicated to researching the religions of subject peoples, a testament to the inclusive nature of the Hittite religious system. Rather than imposing their own beliefs, the Hittites recorded and preserved the religious liturgies and traditions of these subject peoples in their local languages. This practice not only helped maintain peace within the empire, but also served as a means of preserving these cultures for future generations. The discovery of religious documents in at least five different languages, including a previously unknown Middle Eastern language, is a testament to this multicultural approach. Even obscure languages within the empire were recorded and preserved in written form, 
demonstrating the Hittites' respect for the diversity within their realm. The Hittite Empire, which existed from around 1650 BC to 1200 BC, stretched from the Aegean Sea to northern Iraq, and from the Black Sea to Lebanon. The empire's technological innovations and inclusive civil service played a significant role in shaping human history. These remarkable findings shed new light on the multicultural nature of the Hittite Empire and the evolution of ancient Indo-European languages. What a journey through time we've had today, exploring the rituals of Iron Age Europe, the role of women hunters in prehistory, and the multiculturalism of the Hittite Empire. We've delved into the rituals of the Iron Age, where archaeologists in Spain uncovered thousands of bones, predominantly of adult horses, at the Casas del Turunuelo site. These findings provide a fascinating insight into the practices of mass animal sacrifice and feasting. The intentional selection of adult animals and the presence of burned plant and animal remains emphasize the significance of fire in the rituals. It's a stark reminder of how archaeology helps us understand our past. We've also journeyed back to a time when prehistoric women were as involved in hunting as men. Their anatomy, hormones and the evidence of traumatic injuries, similar to those of men, all suggest they were not only capable but also efficient hunters. This challenges the long-held belief of a strict sexual division of labour in prehistoric times, reminding us that everyone had to be a generalist to survive. Finally, we've explored the multiculturalism of the Hittite Empire, where archaeological research in Turkey is shedding light on an ancient civilization that used inclusivity to maintain political stability. The Hittites recorded and preserved religious liturgies and traditions of their subject peoples in their own languages, even those that were obscure and had been lost for up to 3,000 years. This discovery underscores the crucial role of archaeology in revealing the evolution of ancient languages and societies. Each of these discoveries contributes significantly to our understanding of the past and highlights the importance of archaeology in unraveling these mysteries of our history. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Share this video with your friends and stay tuned for more insightful dives into archaeology, science, tech and much more. Remember, knowledge is power.